Hello and welcome to another video by Day Night Gaming. Now today I'd like to discuss with you a very interesting article that I found on Yahoo Finance. And it's written by Daniel Howley. And it was published April 8, 2019. And it is titled, Survey of 8,000 Teens Could Spell Bad News for GameStop. Now I will be putting the link in the description below and I do hope that you take the time to check out the link yourself if you find what I'm reading too interesting. I will not be reading the whole article, but I will be reading certain parts verbatim. So like I said, if you find what I'm uh, talking about and discussing interesting, then please uh, give the link below a, a click. And uh, so while I do this, I'll also be discussing my thoughts and views on the subject matter. And the reason why I'm making this video is because I feel that the certain key points are very indicative of why certain notorious game publishers such as Electronic Arts and Activision, 2K Games, uh, you know, even Ubisoft, you know, why they have injected such predatory monetizations in their, their games in both their free-to-play as well as their full-price AAA games. And uh, there's been a growing problem, uh, you know, the past couple years. 2017, 2018 was really terrible. Uh, 2019 has some of these things, but it's not as bad as, as uh, last year. But still, they, they are there. You know, you even have things where, like, you have things like... Well, um, a horse mount for like $20 or a repair kit, you know, things like that. And uh, I'm pretty sure you, you, as a viewer or as a gamer, have uh, come across something like this in one of the games you've played. Now, it's usually more prevalent on mobile games, but it has been seeping into our console and PC games as well. All right, so on to the article. And... Uh, so this survey was created by Piper Jaffray, it would seem. And it's about taking stock with teens, which helps us non-teens better understand teens' consumer spending habits. Now, according to the survey, teenage boys spend 14% of their budgets on video games. That's more than anything else outside of life necessities like food and clothing. Now, of course, you know, for the most part, most teens, their food and clothing is provided to them by their guardian or parent. Now they might spend some money on food, you know, whenever they're eating at school during uh, lunch or when, the rare occasion when they go to the, the mall or something and hang out with their friends. And same thing with clothing, they'll buy clothing here and there when they hang out with their friends, but most of the time, this is provided by their parent and guardian. And then it goes on to say, free-to-play games like the incredibly popular Fortnite and more recently Apex Legends are also helping to capture new gamers and surprisingly getting more players to pay for premium games. Now, this is true. A lot of teenagers will play free-to-play games, especially games like Fortnite and Apex Legends because it's free. Uh, there is no risk. You don't have to pay for the game up front. You can download it, try it out, and if you like it, you know, you can stay on and possibly continue to support the game by, by paying money, but to, to experience the game, you don't really need to. You can play for free. Uh, that's especially why Fortnite is so popular. Now, they still will buy AAA games here and there. Uh, you know, there are some that are just so good that every gamer will uh, attempt to purchase if it's within the genres of games that they generally like. But for the most part, a lot of teens will gravitate toward these free-to-play games first. All right, so going down, uh, this is the most important paragraph of the whole article. <clears throat> In its survey, Piper Jaffray spoke with 8,000 members of Generation Z in the United States. The cohort of people born between 
1997 and 2012. The teen said they spend 2,600 USD per year, which works out to $77 billion if stressed across the entire teen population of the United States. Okay, let me read that to you one more time. The teens said they spend $2,600 per year. Uh, that's a large amount. Okay, now I'm not saying that this number is not true. It most likely is. I, I wouldn't doubt it. But I don't know of any teens that spend that much money. Heck, I don't even know any adults that spend that much money on games every year. Now, I can understand that number if it includes hardware purchases, things like computers, mouses, keyboards, peripherals, consoles, the monitor that they need to buy in order to play. But games, I mean, most AAA games are $60 or less. And then you also have indie games, which are even cheaper, like $40, $20 to $40. And then you have Steam sales, which most of my friends wait to buy their games. They'll wait for a good Steam sale and they'll purchase games for like under $12. You know, some games as low as $4. And the only few must-have AAA games are the games that they'll, they'll buy on release, maybe like... Breath of the Wild or God of War or you know Red Dead Redemption 2 like one or two games a year will they spend full $60 on so in order to spend this large amount of money you pretty much have to be purchasing extra content that doesn't come standard with the game uh, things like loot boxes or you know, micro transactions that are like, you know, cosmetics or a new skin, a new weapon, a new map. But I mean, 2,600, that's a lot of money. I, I, I don't know of any teen that spends more than $200 a year on, on video games, to, to be completely honest. So this number right here, probably, now I don't actually know, I don't have the actual data from this survey, but I'm gonna guess haphazardly that uh, this is actually an average spent by these 8,000 members. So maybe there's one or a handful of, of a few players that spend $10,000 or more per year, maybe $40,000 or more per year. And that brings up the average of those who spend under $200 a year. I mean, 2,600, that's, that's a large yield of money. It's, that's really hard to imagine. Unless it is coming through predatory microtransactions such as loot boxes, which in my opinion, and it's not proven, but it, you know, in my opinion, is very similar uh, and it simulates the same responses that a slot machine or gambling might uh, exhibit so these type of things are highly addictive and so there might be kids out there who don't want to spend more than a hundred dollars a year but they get addicted to rolling the dice and you know trying to get that cool leather shirt in a loot box a digital leather sun uh, you know hat or sunglasses or whatnot and they end up charging up their parents or guardians credit card with these uh, huge astronomical numbers i mean two thousand six hundred dollars per year that's quite a large amount of money i mean yeah i i mean i can't as a grown adult like even i can't even come close to spending this much a year uh i mean even if i buy all the games that i want to buy i still can't even get to this number you know i've I've purchased about eight games the past year. Granted, a lot of them were indie games or, you know, old used games. But, I mean, even just picking up, you know, 
a few AAA titles here and there, I mean, you know, you're only looking at a couple hundred dollars, right? Maybe if you're buying a game a month, you're spending, I don't know, $800 at, at most. So, I mean, this is quite a large amount of money. It, it has to be uh, purchasing microtransactions. It's the only way that uh, this number can, can come out. And I mean, 8,000 members, the, the sample size is pretty small and comparative to the whole, you know, uh, amount of gamers that are out there. So maybe the exact gamers that they uh, quote unquote uh, surveyed were from very affluent areas. But worldwide, I mean, I can't imagine there being teens out there who can spend this much, you know, per populace. I mean, like I said, only a handful of people can probably spend that much. Uh, so yeah, um, that's, that's, that's my thought on the matter. Uh, if you found this article to be very interesting, like I said, please uh, consider giving this, uh, this article a click and reading it for yourself, the whole thing. And uh, if you enjoy this content, please give it a thumbs up, uh, possibly share it to other people that you know. And uh, if, you, if you like this type of stuff, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out a lot. And until next time, take care, goodbye.